I bought this replacement DeWalt 20 volt max lithium ion battery. Wheatley WTL, which I presume is stands for Wheatley 200. 20 volt, 6 amp power, made in China. Looks very convincing. A charger is just fine. I have a DeWalt battery that I'm going to be comparing it to. These are the two upper shells. We see the latch. They look close enough. The uh, third party one has a, a longer spring of this uh, upper shell that they are reinforced with ridges here, but this is just all flat. On the back, there are some uh, weight saving measures here. Uh, on the side, cut throughs in there to save some plastic, but the DeWalt is just all solid. And this do feel much lighter. This is definitely heavier. The same with the latch. The, the genuine DeWalt battery has heavier latch. And then these two battery ones, they look close enough actually. Now the bottom shell is pretty much the same story. Inside, there's more reinforcement on the sides here. And then more reinforcement on the bottom. While this copy is just all flat. Checking if the top shell will fit. Nope. A top genuine shell won't fit on a copy of the vault. I don't think the vice versa will work either. Nope, it won't fit. The parts are not interchangeable. These are the core pieces, the internals. Uh, this one, the copy, using a lot thinner tabs. And then the wires are a lot weaker. This is have a more springy wire here. And the balancing leads, this is all feel like steel wire, and this is just a soft copper wire. For the genuine one, there is thermal glue to hold everything down, and here I kind of broke it when I'm taking it apart. And this one just dangling around. And under here, there's a fuse in the genuine one, but uh, here there's no fuse. Just don't short the battery, I guess. For the spot welding, for this copy one, the plates are very thin, about half or two, th two thirds of thickness. Also the spot weld, I for, for sure I can do a better spot welding job than what they did here. And the, the DeWalt, the so spot welding are very deep, very solid. And also the battery, you see the heat shrink wrap, these the are ridges. That's a sign of rewrap of some sort, which means the origin of the battery is also questionable. There is a remnant of a previous spot weld. And this one, and this one. So the cells are definitely recycled. So next step, I'll be testing the capacity myself and see how close it is to 6 amp power. I have connected a battery here, the knockoff DeWalt battery. And then I set voltage cutoff to 14.5 volt. Let the test start. The capacity measured to be 5.25 amp power is far short of expected 6 amp power capacity. And here's a detailed view of the test. Each cell drink to 2.9 volt to prevent the cell from overdraining. The test duration is 109 minutes and the average drain current is at uh, 2.87 amps. That's well within the limit of the battery. In summary, the construction of the battery is acceptable and the cell uses recycled battery cells and the capacity is not as labeled. So I would suggest stay away from third-party tool batteries unless you have the method to test these batteries.